Right, go on then. Okay, that's enough. Yes, we're gonna do water spray on the intercooler. I'll show you how to set it up. Welcome to part eight. Okay, so to run this, there's a couple of ways that I could do it. I've got this washer bottle that I run on my last car. And the original plan was to run the intercooler spray from this. Um, the only downside to that is running all the electrics for another another switch to the dash. So I was talking about on Facebook with someone. Um, I asked on Facebook, actually, had anyone done it? And someone suggested using the rear wiper um, spray for the rear window. So that's what I did when I hooked up to the test now. Uh, but I don't completely want to lose that just yet. I may need it. So I've got a little idea of how we can use that pump and run that system. But I'm going to put it on valves. Valves in the engine bay where I can divert it to either to intercooler spray or to the rear window. Um, the benefit of that will be I only really want it on a hot summer's day in a track day. I'm not going to be using it in the winter, I don't think. I don't know though. Um, so yeah, it's really just to have a good cooling down temperatures on, on the hottest days of the summer. Right, so as for the spray, I've got two different type of jets. This jet you see here <coughs> is what's called uh, a fan jet. It's a 100 degree fan jet. Now, what probably most of you don't realise is my job is window cleaning. I'm not a mechanic, as a lot of you ask, so... That uh, answers a question of most people do say, are you a mechanic? No, I'm not. I'm a window cleaner. So these are what I use uh, on my pump system in work. And they give a, f uh, a spray, as you've seen. Now, when you use normal washer jets, you have these. So I think these are more beneficial because it gives a wider spray. And it's more of a, a sort of a mist rather than straight jet. So you're covering a much bigger area than the cooler. So what I'll do now, I'll put, put the the two in and we can show you the difference between what they both spray like. Right so this is going to be the spray of a fan jet I'm going to show you again so go on in Amelia keep it on for a bit longer so you pick and again can you see the nice wide spray do it again there you are right so now what I'll do is I'll put in a normal washer jet Right, so that's a normal window washer jet. Right, the media, go on, spray that. And again, so you can see the difference, it's just like snake's uh, tongue. And again, so it's more of a hitting in a certain spot rather than spreading over a wider area over the intercooler. So, right, knock it off now, media. So what the plan is, if I put to we'll say one here one year that width of spray i'm going to drill them through there should give it a nice wide spread and because they're coming from top down then if we're not going too fast gravity will bring it down i did think of putting them in the bottom but i thought when we're in fast moving air they're going to spray them. obviously they're not going to go up so far the, the wind is just going to it's just going to come woof, and then go in so it might not soak the top i don't know because I'm trying to, but I thought if I go from top down, then when we slow down, gravity will do some work as well and bring it down. So that's my thinking on that. So I'm going to set up some pipe work now before we drill some holes and stick the jets in. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is this area here is a join in the pipe. So find the pipe that goes to the rear window and there's a straight joiner. So get that out. And we're going to swap that then for a T piece. So I'll put some Jubilee clips around that in a sec and tighten it up. <clears throat> so that's going to go back there. What we're going to do then is tee off to the intercooler spray from there. But we need to have a way of switching off the water flow from going to the back window. So that's where these little valves come in. I heard these from a um, hydroponics shop. I suppose they're little fishing valves or something. So. I put that in. If I put the valve in there, I won't be able to get at it when the light is in. So I'm going to put it probably somewhere up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put that in here. So we're going to have one to block off the flow to the back window, and then I'll put another one then 
uh, on the pipe that's running off to the to the intercooler. So we'll cut this, we'll fit that in, put some Jubilee clips on it, and I'll show you the next step. Cable ties, I meant not Jubilee clips. Stuff that on. Right, so now we've valved up and put some little cable ties on there. Right, so this pipe now, I'm going to run it under the filter and pull it through and just down in the, you can see in there, there's a hole, so I'm going to bring it back through for that, pull him through, right, so I'm down there, we'll sort that out in a minute, so that then, I will feed that, I think, through here. Right, so I've got plenty of length then to put some jets in the top of this. We'll probably tidy that up along here. Uh, yeah, so what I've got to do now is we've got to have a valve in this in this pipe work. So I'll probably... I think the light takes up a lot of room here, so I think what I'll do is... Uh, I'll cable tie the pipe to the top of the thing and then I'll put a valve somewhere around here that we can access. Right, so I'll cut that now and stick one in. Right, so I'm going to pop out two 4 mil holes. I right, say so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put ones in the slope, shoot directly at it, then ones in the top and I'm going to work out what, which ones I'm going to use because when you're going slow, the ones that are angled in would be better because obviously it's aimed at it. But it, it narrows the, the fan, the distance is going to spray out. Um, if I put it there, obviously it'll spray right down, fan right down the front of it. But you need then the forward momentum of wind to actually blow it into the intercooler. Right, so I have to use a 5mm uh, drill bit actually. So what I'm going to do is put them in. Make sure they cut it straight across so the jet sprays across this bit. So what we're going to do is put one as a tester on the angle bit. This one I'm going to put in the straight bit. I'll fire both at the same time and we see what the different patterns are. Amelia, yeah. you want to come and spray the water for me? Right, so I've got both just temporary plumbed up until they sort the pipe out. But like I was saying, these were the two locations. Hang on, Amelia. I'll tell her when to do it. Right, so we can see how they spray. Right, go on out. Again, hold, hold it off longer. Oh. Right, hang on a minute. I wasn't filming it properly. Right, spray again. Okay. So you can see the difference in the spray pattern on that. It's getting nice and wide down there, but. It's not hitting the intercooler as thoroughly as as that one. Do it again. But with a bit of forward driving uh, wind, that would give a nice spread on there actually. I think I'll go for the angled one though, just to be sure. I don't know though. Media, stop squirting me. You monkey. She's got a little banana again. Right, stop, stop. Knock it, knock it off. Right, you ready? Oh, well, I'll tell you why. <clears throat> right, so I've gone in the, the front position on these two sloping down, so it's getting a good spray. So Amelia's going to give it a test now. Go on and give it a spray. So I know it's going to get a good soak in now. Right, I'll do it on a minute. Now, if I put the valve here, if I open that up so it's now flowing to the back window and the intercooler, I'll right, give it a spray again, Amelia. So that's with the, it's run into the front and the back now. There's still plenty of spray there. And there's plenty coming out the back window. So you could have both running if you wanted to. If I go and switch the intercooler one off, I right, stop me, yeah? As I run the water. Uh, right, so just to switch the intercooler off. 
Right, go on then, go and scream again. So now, if I've done it right, that should be off. Well, there you are, right? so I don't spray anything now, so it's all going to the back window. What's it? Blinking tons coming out of that, mind. Right, I'll do it. The water doesn't last long when, when you're running it for flat out. I haven't filled that bottle. So, that's working great. Right, so I give one last look at the pipe in. How I done it, I end up putting cable ties, just popping them through that hole to keep it stable. And that runs through. Like you've seen, we got one valve there. You can switch to whatever you want. Like for now, I'll leave it running at the rear window. And when it gets hot, then I can make the switch. Right, so hopefully you enjoy watching that. Maybe you learned something new. I did. So I think that's going to be a wrap. I see in this video. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Tell you one. Go on then. Give it a spray. Hold it on. That's water spray on the intercooler, people. Right, that'll do, Amelia. Amelia, that'll do.